gonna be it's gonna be one of them raw dialogues on psychology fear and fearlessness um really creating mental containers and the power of that and just like a few techniques to gain a perspective of yourself and really maybe unlock some doors so let's just dive in here yesterday fear was really coming up for me and you know I kind of I let it happen I went into fears and asked about my deepest fears and I had a couple long drives to make and really whatever's challenging you in life my friends or whatever you're trying to grow in acknowledging and knowing your fears is essential the knowledge and the acknowledgement of fear is so important because a lot of us don't even realize that we are fearful and if you think you don't have fears you're full of shit you know and by not acknowledging our fears we are ruled by them we must learn to like acknowledge and know our fears right and then to move fearlessly to love fearlessly to live fearlessly that is like that divine masculine quality within all of us so i was sitting with you know there was a lot coming up in my relationship my internal world my business and like whatnot with this nature immersion coming on and so I was asking myself like in my relationship what is my greatest fear you know and accessing the king archetype or that queen archetype within yourself right where you know you disattach from this world like you find your strength you breathe powerfully right and you get into that place of centeredness where nothing's going to move you you're okay to see the truth you're okay to see anything right and like yeah just access that king to your best of your ability maybe i'll make a video on that and then sitting with your fear right and realizing that the fear the darkness the shadow is the fuel for transformation it's the fuel for the light the more we can acknowledge and sit with our fears and know our fears inside and out the greater well of power we have to access and transmute into light you know into the other side into energy into motion and the darkness is the fuel my friends learning how to feed on it so like by sitting with your by your with your deepest fears that's the only way to really behold what you fear most in front of you is the only way to facilitate the transformation necessary to overcome this point of weakness inside of yourself you see the original state and the state like we're returning to is that one of pure self-reliance of self-generation of need needing not to know anything needing no certainty of the future because we have no fear because we are so self-reliant we have so much faith faith trust and certainty in the one thing that you know we can really put that faith in and that's ourselves and our ability to take that on when the time comes you know and yeah so like just like transitioning onto the next note in order to uh i guess create more contrast in order to see the fears that may be ruling you look at an area of your life whether it's your spiritual practice your work and creative you know artistry your uh relationships your finances right think about some one of these important areas in your life and imagine if you lived fearlessly if you were completely fearless and you were aspiring and running towards your edge like what does that look like to live fearlessly to love fearlessly I was really sitting with this in my relationship. It's like if I was to love fearlessly, a in order to be fearless in anything, you must have a higher perspective. You must attain the king archetype within you. And to realize that holy shit, why are we in this relationship? What is the value of this? What is it serving? It's serving both of our individual highest calling, right? And we're not in this for like yeah, it's nice and comfortable in some ways and makes things like awesome <laughs> you know but that's not what it's for you know we're like what's the goal what's the mission let's get clear on this so that we can move fearlessly in that you see my friends there's quite the balance of knowing and acknowledging your fears but whenever you move into the world whenever you speak whenever you act however you live to live from a fearless place to access that strength and realize like 
yeah, I have no idea what is about to go down, but this is what I'm called to do. And in order to live in alignment and in accordance with your inner wisdom, with your core self, right? You have to be fearless because your core self is going to ask you to do some crazy fucking shit. <laughs> That's just the truth, my friends. You're going to have to shake sh shit up. Like, if you were to live fearlessly in your work, you know, what would you be doing? Where is your edge in that? Like, and yeah, so like, for that fearless living, that that boldness, it's really about accessing that divine masculine energy, building self-reliance, attaining a king or a queen perspective, right? A higher mind perspective of this journey in, in wholeness, like where you are, you know? I see so many people getting so trapped in relationships and wasting so much energy and time and just like these patterns of drama and toxicity and whatnot. And it's because, like, they really can't take a step back and realize, like, wow, if if I'm doing this and I'm doing it in the long run, like, 30 years down the road, like, really think about this. Like, where do I want to be in 30 years, you know? And we have all this fear of being alone, you know, and sitting with that, triggering that. Finding your fears is crucial, my friends. Find your fears. It's the fuel. It's the fuel for transformation. It's the fuel that allows you not to be moving out of a place of weakness and insecurity. You see, we have like a thousand voices inside of us. A thousand voices. I notice this in, in communion with relationships and whatnot. Is where am I speaking from? You know, especially like when I'm challenged. When shit in reality is collapsing. You know, you're being tested by your woman. You're being tested by life itself all your relationships right are you responding to them out of like a triggered place a reactivity place a place that is trying to defend your ego a place that is trying to prove something to them are you moving in a place that is you know from a fear based you know are you moving in a place that is a place of weakness inside of yourself right because your inability to confront the energy that like the divine feminine unfolds, right? The world is, is the mother. It's like that divine feminine. To, your inability to confront that energy, to meet it, and then to move through it. And, and like, it's a test. It's a test of like your inner, I guess like your divine essence. It's a test of that divine masculinity or like that pull inside of yourself. Your ability to meet that, hold the space for it and discern like where is all this coming from yeah i'm gonna have a lot of thoughts that are coming from insecurity and weakness and fear and all these things right can i maybe open up the space to communicate i'm feeling fear for these reasons and know that i'm going to move act and decide righteously and fearlessly i'm going to love and live fearlessly but I'm going to maybe share and open up the space to discuss my fears with this person right here, right? And then like gather the strength, gather the kingship to move like fearlessly in that, to attain the perspective of your life's journey and what you're actually called to do. You see, we clutch to a lot of things <laughs> because we lack vision of, you know, at the end of your life, are you gonna be satisfied by having a meager relationship? Or is the only thing that's going to satisfy you is bringing forth what is within you, aligning with your, with your calling and actually serving your highest purpose. I think that's fulfillment, right? And if a person, another person is harmonious in, in the journey with me, fuck yeah, you know? But like just having that, that view, you know? And yeah, same thing within yourself acknowledging fears, knowing fears, knowing your insecurities, right? But not being a boy, not having immature, like boyish or girlish energy about it, getting all reactive, not wanting to look at it. Can you sit in your damn king or queen and feel that shit all the way through to really feel the fear, my friends? By doing this practice, by doing this practice, the level of strength and courage and like, I guess motivation to move that results from it is unequaled. It's unequaled, my friends. Fear is the source of power. <laughs> and fear is the shadow of darkness. It's an illusion. So yeah, that's just like a real quick talk on a few points of like 
fear and fearlessness and loving fearlessly. What does loving fearlessly look like to you? You know? Instead of like sacrificing your own individuality and like tiptoeing around every situation and playing the Mr. Nice Guy and all this PC bullshit and just like falling into patterns in a relationship of any kind. Like what does it look like to be fearless in alignment with the purpose of that? You know what I mean? To love fearlessly, to really show up as you, to like, your job is not to please everyone. Your job is not to please your intimate partner. That's not your job. You know, your job is to learn and to grow with them. And that's uncomfortable. Moving on in this, this raw dialogue, this raw talk right here. I guess like a side note of all of this is realizing the power of mental containers and setting a container for yourself to experiment, to try something, to invoke something that like your ego gets triggered by, right? I know a lot of in the spiritual community, like the feeling of anger and the feeling of fear and like sitting in it, it's not honored. It's not respected because we think, oh, law of attraction. I don't want to attract my fears. It's like, oh, then you're going to be ruled by them the rest of your life, my friends. Whatever you fear will continue to rule you until you can learn to watch the fear without moving and like setting up containers. A container allows you to experiment, to try something but still have like the safe space of your known reality to step back into after, you know? So it's like sitting with yourself, breathing for a while, letting go of this world, letting go of all these severe attachments in our mind, maybe doing this in nature. And then opening the space to see what are you actually frustrated and fucking angry about? Invoke the power of anger within you. That is the power of Mars, a planet, a power, an archetype within you that is so, so like suppressed inside of all of us due to the society, you know? And like finding the anger and seeing why and feeling into that darkness, feeling into that pain, feeling into that anger. Guess what? Anger when transmuted is the most powerful motivator out there. It is the motion. It is Mars invoked and transmuted into Christ, like literally. And it's the same thing with fear, you know? And like being able to c create containers for yourself and not like continue to operate and think in these dogmatic patterns that you think are right, you know? But go and open the space for you to descend into the unknown. The container allows you to commune with the mystery and descend beyond the known world so you can shatter your current form and transform to transmute, enhance form into something greater. He who is within you is far greater than you see, than he who you see out here, my friends. And to find him, to realize him, to realize self, you know, it is to look and find and be clever and discern the shadow from the truth, right? To discern what energies are moving inside of you, to discern what kind of energy you're moving and acting on. Is it restlessness? Is this coming from a place of fear or divine masculinity and overwhelming love and generation for everything, you know? Like in a relationship, I know this like puts everything right into contrast right away. Is if I'm like unsure about how to move or how to respond to something or I'm feeling very like stressed and turmoil inside. It's like, how would my most loving, powerful, potent self arrive and show up and penetrate the situation to dance with the world itself you know and then you're going to see oh wow I be speaking moving and all these things and projecting out of a place of insecurity triggeredness reactivity fear weakness all these things and it's okay to have those things my friends guess what I got a fuck ton of them I think you do too welcome to being human you know and like there has to be space to acknowledge, to sit with, to work with, to understand, to know that which we deem bad or destructive or negative or makes you feel uncomfortable. We must learn to sit and know that in our own kingship and so much energy is derived from it. My friends, love fearlessly. Live fearlessly. What does that look like? You know? And then in order to really act on it, develop and cultivate that king archetype within you develop and cultivate that warrior that courage that valor and also most of all most importantly 
Cultivate the faith and the trust in yourself and the divine, you know, the one, the path before you. Call on your guides, call on the spiritual storehouse of strength, call on those things and walk with spirit. And you know, you know that if you trust the process and trust the path, you'll be taken care of. And every single time we can move beyond a fear that is chaining down a reality, a greater manifestation of self and experience opens up, uh, opens up to us. The darkness is the fear, is the fuel. <laughs> the darkness is the shadow of fear. <coughs> Hell yeah, my friends. If you guys want to work with me one-on-one, link in the description. You can apply for a free one-on-one consultation with me. Also, Tribe Nature Immersion. This September, it's one week from this Thursday, one week from today, and there are two spots available. If you feel called to that, 20% off for anyone who jumps on, who uh, hits me up and gets in touch with me about the Tribe Nature Immersion, and let's do this shit. If you guys like this video, please hit that like button to let me know you like these raw dialogues on psychology, and let me know what you thought is helpful.